Um, you mentioned a little bit about about having good debt, and this is something that I've heard previously. Um, what do you mean by good debt? How could somebody who has been brought up to say that you're not supposed to take on a liability better understand this concept of of good debt? Yeah, and I so I kind of I look at things too from a faith perspective, Chris. Mm -hmm. um, and you know the the idea like there's a whole school of thought um, like the Dave Ramsey. Um, yeah. financial types of guides where someone might be listening and they might be very passionate about having no debt like yeah. he sort of preaches and I I think and I'm not a Dave Ramsey expert by any means um, I think he's more talking about your credit card mm -hmm. debt or high interest car loan um, type debt that can ultimately and there's probably someone listening has that and you know as i have in my life it's it's can make you feel a little buried or trapped right. um, underneath payments now when you get into investing in properties what you'll quickly find is people use debt i.e a loan from a bank so that their cash can go further mm -hmm. um, a lot of people in our business call it levering up um, again not sure where your listeners are maybe thinking about investing in their first property yeah. They may have 40 properties yeah. and be, you know, have a hundred million dollars of property. Either way, you can use someone else's money to make your cash go further versus just, you know, looking at an investment property and saying, I'm going to put down 100% of the purchase price of my money. Mm -hmm. And I know exactly what my return is. You can increase that return um, by using a bank's money. Um, now this is a whole maybe separate topic for a separate day, but I, I would mention too that there are great benefits 